Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the public perception of what crypto is. You see, I feel like the term cryptocurrencies is kind of a misnomer. While in theory, cryptocurrencies are money, in reality, they are something more like stocks, but not quite. But there's a lot of confusion about their similarities and differences. And that's how I came up with the idea of this video. Today, we'll go over how stocks and cryptocurrencies work, what makes them similar and different, and which one works best for you depending on your situation. Are you making the money you want to in cryptos? There's a lot of money to be made in cryptos, but you aren't going to get there by buying a little bit of Bitcoin. You should be trading with the best, and Bybit is it. You will also get a $1,600 bonus on Bybit when you register, so claim your bonus now. Check out the link in the description and learn why you should be trading with Bybit. We are giving away $10,000, and it could be yours. Stick around for more info on how you can win it. Hello and welcome to Cryptopedia. I'm your gracious host, K7. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up with all our great content. Stocks and Crypto a stock is a portion of ownership in a business. That is the basic of it. Since owning a stock means you own a bit of the business, that means as a shareholder, you have a claim to part of its value. This is what gives stocks its value. Since the value of the stock is based on the value of a business, it's considered that it is an asset backing it. The price of a stock fluctuates as investors evaluate the company's future and success. While sometimes stocks can grow in the short term due to sudden interest, the price ultimately depends on the company's ability to grow profits over time. In other words, a stock rises in the long run as a result of the underlying company's success, at least in theory. On the other hand, cryptocurrencies are usually not backed by any hard assets, with the exception of some coins known as stable coins. But one upside of cryptocurrencies is how they allow you to perform specific actions, such as sending money to another person or using smart contracts, which can handle transactions automatically when certain conditions are met. But what affects the price of cryptocurrencies? Since they usually aren't backed by assets or cash flow, the main factor driving crypto prices is speculation fueled by sentiment. Prices fluctuate in response to changes in sentiment, sometimes dramatically. Another factor that affects the price of cryptocurrencies is their supply and demand, the latter of which is also tied to the public sentiment. Risk, Time, and Portfolio There's three elements that you always need to consider when investing. The risk involved with the asset, the time that it will take for you to start seeing returns, and how you are diversifying your investment portfolio in general. That last one means splitting up your investments. Let's see each one from the perspective of crypto and stocks. Number one, risks and safety. First, you should carefully consider your risk tolerance before investing in any market-based investment, such as cryptocurrency and stocks. Can you deal with the volatility of these assets? How well do you react to investment gains and losses? If investors dislike a stock, they can sell it and drive down the price. But the company must eventually go out of business for the stock to be worthless. You also have the option, if you don't want to buy individual stocks, to invest in funds based on the S&P 500 index, which has gained 10% per year on average over time. With crypto, volatility is particularly drastic, with some coins rising or falling 50% or more in a year. Finally, some cryptocurrency is generally not backed by assets or cash flow. It relies only on sentiment becoming more favorable to push up its price. Basically, stocks and crypto are both very volatile, but stocks have the option of index funds to mitigate that. Crypto, however, can have more drastic changes in prices, which could benefit you or screw you over. Number 2. Time Horizon then there's the criterion of your time horizon, which is when you expect to see returns from your investment and when you need it. The shorter that timeline is, the more you need an investment that's safe in terms of returns. If your asset is too volatile, it won't be suitable in the short term. In general, experts believe that investors in risky assets, such as stocks, need at least three years to weather volatility. Don't have three years? Then reconsider your options. Both stocks and crypto work similarly in this area. For the most part, these are long-term investments and outside of selling high and buying low and some trading, you won't see significant profit in the short term. Number three, portfolio management. Finally, when it comes to building your portfolio, you don't have to choose between cryptocurrency and stocks 
or other types of assets such as bonds or funds. It's not a one or the other situation. It's about what works best for you and having your eggs in multiple baskets. Before making any investments, you should conduct extensive research into the current market. Consider the level of risk you're willing to accept and consider the time it will take to see a return. If you have a low risk threshold, stocks might be the better option for your portfolio, given their long-term record. If you're investing in individual stocks, you'll need to research your stocks carefully to achieve good returns. As for crypto, given its inherent risks, it works better with a small allocation in your overall portfolio. Stable coins are better as they are less prone to drastic changes. The benefit of crypto is that even a small allocation could do wonders for your portfolio if the cryptocurrency really takes off. Also, limiting to a small allocation prevents you against a complete loss if crypto goes nowhere. Thanks for watching Cryptopedia. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something from it, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. This was your gracious host, K7.